before you hit publish on your Framer site, pause, because there's a few things you'll want to double check first. Whether it's a portfolio, a landing page, or a full-blown product site, these 10 steps will make sure your launch is clean, discoverable, and user-friendly. Number one, page titles. Every page should have a unique descriptive title. This is what shows up in browser tabs and search results, so make it count. Number two, descriptions. These won't boost SEO ranking directly, but they do influence whether people actually click from the search results. So give each page a short, clear summary that encourages them to take action. Number three, URL slugs. Clean, readable slugs are better for both humans and search engines alike. Rename anything default like this to something more descriptive like this. The shorter and more to the point, the better. Number four, responsiveness. Check your layout on different screen sizes. Is it still working on mobile? Framer makes it easy to fine tune breakpoints, so don't skip this step. Number five, image optimization. Framer handles scaling and compression for you automatically to keep your site optimized for fast load times. But if you need to, you can manually set image size and even go full lossless from the fill settings. Number six, favicon and social previews. Make sure to set your favicon and social image. It's a small detail that makes a big difference when your site is shared on socials or bookmarked. Number seven, basic accessibility. Add clear, actionable labels to buttons, check color contrast, and make sure everything works with a keyboard. Number eight, global site settings. Framer lets you set fallback titles and descriptions in your site settings. These cover you if you forget to customize a page, so think of it as a safety net. Number nine, redirects. If you're migrating from an old site or restructuring pages, don't forget to set up redirects. You can add custom redirects in Framer's site settings to make sure no links break when you go live. And finally, number 10, SEO audit. There are plenty of free tools out there to run a quick SEO audit, from browser extensions to full reports. Running one in a preview or staging environment helps you catch major issues before presenting it to a real audience. And that's it. 10 quick checks and you're ready to launch with confidence. If you want to go deeper into site performance and SEO best practices, make sure to head to framer.com slash academy to check out our full SEO course and our other courses. I'll see you in the next one.